How is it going today? Lola, Lola Skinner Wise Dwayne. My name is Jasmine. We're Dwayne Jazz, so we have for you creepy neighbor horror story animated by mm -hmm. Llama Arts. Did you ever have a creepy neighbor? Creepy neighbor. I don't I don't know. I did. You did? Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk not, about not that. Not like a like not like a scary way, it just was like, why are you staring at me all the time? Mm. Like way. Let's talk about it at the end. Yeah. I'm more interested now. <laughs> if you guys have any other shows, please follow us on social media in the link in the show. Don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. Let's dive on in. Creepy neighbors hard. I don't know why I thought our beat was gonna come on. I know. This I'm happened in two thousand and nine. We would fly from our home state Damn, in California to Minnesota to visit Minnesota. my family for the summer. I've always enjoyed it there because of the nature and peaceful atmosphere. My father's family lived far from the nearest town, mm. and he only had two neighbors. My only friend there was a girl who lived next door. Let's call her Morgan. Mm. She's around my age, and me, my sister, and her would always play from sunrise to sunset. One day at around 4 p.m., we were outside Bad. playing badminton. My sister hit the birdie too hard and landed in the next door neighbor's yard. Uh -oh. Oh, Morgan said it. she had more inside her house and went to get them. I felt uncomfortable leaving it there, so I told my sister I'll go get it myself. Mm -hmm. She told me not to do it and just wait for Morgan. While my sister was fixing the net, I decided to run and get it real quick. As I was about to enter the gate, uh -oh. my sister grabbed me from behind and began telling me how much of a bad idea it was. That's when an old man came out from behind the house. Ooh. He picked up the birdie and said, Is this yours? Yes. I said yes and asked if I could have it back. He said he had his grandchildren's old toys upstairs and asked if we wanted to have them. No. Me and my sister were very young at the time and we thought as he lived so close and he looked like a typical sweet grandfather, what's the worst that could happen? Oh no. So we agreed no. and entered through the back door. The first thing I noticed was the stench. It smelled of damp and rotting food. I shrugged it off at the time since he was old. Maybe he lived alone. Mm -mm. We heard Morgan calling our names and we politely told the old man that we had to go and maybe we'd return tomorrow. Morgan saw us through the window and immediately asked what we were doing there. I answered, the sweet old man. And she cut me off and said that the house was abandoned since she moved there. She's like, nobody's there. I thought she was just playing around with me and told her to cut it out. She had a blank expression. Like, I'm not. And I knew that I'm she not was playing. serious. We never <laughs> told anyone because we didn't want to cause any trouble. But now that I'm older, I wonder if it was some ghost or creepy old man luring kids into that house. Mm. The house got demolished recently, which is why I wanted to share this story. Mm. Oh, I wasn't that bad. He didn't do nothing at all. Right. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that, that bad. bad. That was just, oh, you want some toy? Okay. Next day, no man is there. Okay. Yeah. But did he get the toy back? That's what I wanted to know. Right. We didn't even get a resolution. All right. We didn't even get it. Did, did, get, did you get, get the toy back? At all. <laughs> Minnesota. I'm huh. saying that. <laughs> it's an inside joke. Right. It's an inside, inside joke. joke. Y'all don't get no, it. No, 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 no. It's not inside joke. Maybe we was watching it. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, me and Jazz no, was watching we TikTok. We no, we was watching TikTok. To no, no, I know, I know, but we was watching the tick we was watching TikTok and the dude was like, one day in Minnesota. I think we, we reacted to it. I think it might have been a, and a try not to laugh. And he was like, one week in Minnesota. And I was oh, like, that. Yeah, no, I think, no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Huh? Because we, we got it from that. Like right. somebody oh, yeah, was yeah. saying I'm somewhere else, and then we turned it into that because one of our friends is from there. So yeah. that's why. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> But um, yeah, this was okay. It's I, okay. I wanted to I, Yeah, I, 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 it would have been nice if you would have told us about, you know. Just encountered a ghost and yeah. said, hey, you want some toys? <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. He didn't even try to touch y'all, didn't try to do nothing to you. Didn't drag like, you to hell or nothing. Yeah, nothing. Or nothing. It was okay. <laughs> you remember that for 10 years? It probably was scary to them. And probably imagine if you saw a, like like if you, because you've never seen a ghost, you touched them. But you I never touched them. them. I mean, I felt them. Oh my, yeah. Talk to ghosts. Yeah, I'm sorry. But you, you never like see one physical. So I, don't I think, think that, that I would be scared. Imagine though. if you were like a kid and then you saw a physical ghost and it was like a, a like an actual, not like a form, like an actual person. And like I think you would probably remember that person in time now. I guess so, but I wouldn't be scared though. Yeah, I I, I, I was yeah. scared of vampires when I was little. Like, I, I always thought that they were like underneath my bed. Like, you know how people have the boogeyman? I always saw vampires underneath my bed. I don't know why. <laughs> you saw your blood? But yes, like, everybody was scared of the boogeyman, but I was like, nah, vampires is under there. 
because they like the dark. Right. So I assumed that that was their like home, mm -hmm. and they never came out because of the sun and everything. And like I would be scared that I look down there and I'll see some fangs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think I'm stupid? No, I'm not. I'm saying, yeah, you could, yeah. I was scared of the dark. That was my thing. I just didn't like the dark at one point. I, mm -hmm. just, like, I think every little kid is scared of the dark. Yeah, because you don't know what's going to pop out. Right, right. Yeah, Any so. one of your fears could pop out in right. the dark. Yeah, I, I didn't. It could be Chucky. It could be I Boogeyman. Yeah, 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 I was scared you of that. Yeah, I wasn't so. scared about it. I was just scared of the dark. It was just like the darkness and just. That was scary to me. Anyway, we're going off on a tangent. Anyway, comment below, guys. Let's watch. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This is.